Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're going to explore the intricacies of MPEG-3 and MPEG-4 compression algorithms. If you've ever wondered how digital audio and video files are made smaller without sacrificing too much quality, stick around because we're about to unravel these compression techniques in detail. First up, let's talk about MPEG-3. Now, MPEG-3 might sound familiar, but it's actually a bit of a misnomer. The term MPEG-3 is often confused with MP3, which stands for MPEG-1 Audio Layer 3. MP3 is a popular audio compression format developed by the Moving Picture Experts Group, MPEG. It's specifically designed for compressing audio files, allowing for a significant reduction in file size while maintaining relatively high audio quality. MP3 achieves this by using a form of lossy compression, where some of the less perceivable audio data is discarded. This makes MP3 an efficient format for storing and streaming music, which is why it became the standard for digital audio over the internet. Interestingly, there was never a formal MPEG-3 standard for video compression. MPEG-2, which came before it, was primarily used for digital television and DVDs. MPEG-3 was initially intended to improve on MPEG-2 for high-definition TV, but the advancements in compression technology were incorporated into MPEG-2 itself. So the development of a separate MPEG-3 standard for video was ultimately deemed unnecessary, and the focus shifted towards MPEG-4. Now, let's dive into MPEG-4, which is a much more versatile and comprehensive standard. MPEG-4 is a method of defining compression for digital audio and video. Unlike MP3, MPEG-4 covers a broad range of multimedia content and applications. Developed in the late 1990s, MPEG-4 brought significant improvements over its predecessors by introducing a variety of techniques to enhance compression efficiency and flexibility. It includes several parts, each addressing different aspects of multimedia content, such as audio, video, and even 3D graphics. One of the most notable components of MPEG-4 is its video compression standard, known as H264 or AVC, Advanced Video Coding. H264 has become the dominant format for recording, compression, and distribution of video content. From high-definition broadcasts to Blu-ray discs, and even online streaming services like YouTube and Netflix. H264 achieves higher compression rates than previous standards, meaning it can deliver high-quality video at lower bit rates. This efficiency is achieved through techniques like motion estimation and compensation, which analyze the movement between frames to predict and encode only the changes, rather than encoding each frame from scratch. MPEG-4 also supports a range of multimedia features such as interactive content, digital rights management, and streaming over the internet. Its flexibility makes it suitable for various applications, including video conferencing, mobile video, and digital television. Furthermore, the standard continues to evolve with extensions like H265 or HEVC, High Efficiency Video Coding, which offers even better compression efficiency, enabling 4K video streaming and beyond. In summary, while MPEG-3 was never fully realized as a video compression standard and is often confused with the widely used MP3 audio format, MPEG-4 has revolutionized the way we handle digital multimedia. Its comprehensive suite of tools and techniques has set the stage for the high-quality, efficient compression we rely on today for everything from streaming videos to mobile communications. Understanding these compression algorithms not only helps us appreciate the technology we use daily, but also gives us a glimpse into the ever-evolving landscape of digital media. That's all for today's deep dive into MPEG-3 and MPEG-4 compression algorithms. Drop any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.